Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Habib Ali and I am an ICT tutor by profession. So welcome back to another lesson. In today's lesson we are going to be learning about how to use the if function to work out if over budget or not. Manually typing in the full if function. That will be great practice by the way and um, using the function key to do the if function so we'll get excel to do the if function for us so we'll learn the manual way as well as using the feature excel has for it to kind of do it for us so we're back on the client's worksheet using the office budget spreadsheet so let's um, go straight to the question now the if question is quite lengthy and uh, may sound complicated but do please bear with me when I read this out. So in cell B14 insert a function that will display the text yes if the number in cell B11 is greater than the number in B12 and display the text no if it is not. So basically it's asking us to use this if function and kind of test that if B11 is greater than B12 then we need the answer to be displayed as yes otherwise if B11 is not greater than B12 we need the answer to be displayed as no. I hope that makes more sense because initially if you do read this question it sounds really complicated than it actually is. So let's go straight to the client's worksheet and carry this out. So the answer is going inside B14. We're going to type in this uh, if function initially manually and then we're going to use the if function, uh, sorry, the function button to allow Excel to kind of do most of the process for us. Now before I start um, this if function, I just want to tell you that in lesson 8, I have demonstrated another if function so please do have a look at that one for further clarification and further practice um, that will be a very good idea for you to do so I'm going to use now for this if function I'm going to use these two cells to answer whether I am over budget or not so if I am over budget I need the answer to be displayed as yes i.e. this cell reference or if I'm not over budget I want the contents of this cell to be displayed which is A16 so either A15 or A16 and the contents of it should be displayed as the two possible answers at the end of my if function okay let's make a start we start with equals just like any other fun uh, any other calculation whether it's a formula or a function so we go ahead and type in if because it's an if function we open the brackets and then we're doing the logical test and the test for this question is whether the expense is greater than the budget so you can see the expense is 13,250 and our budget is 12,500. Now before even doing this F, doing this F function, we can identify that we are actually over budget. So the answer should be displayed as yes. So we know what our target is now. We should be seeing yes in this cell at the end of this calculation. So let's see if we do get it right. So the testing part, like I said, if B11, which is the expense, so I type, uh, click in B11, or you can type it in, it doesn't really matter. Then we use the operator, which is greater than, which is this symbol. Please make sure you get this uh, uh, less than and more than operator the correct way around, otherwise your calculation will be wrong. So great B11, greater than B12. So I'm just going to click there, B12. Then I need a comma. And two possible answers so if this is true b11 being greater than b12 then then i want the answer to be displayed as the contents of cell f15 so all i have to do is click on f15 then i need another comma and finally if the value or the testing part is false i.e the opposite of being true so if b11 is not larger than 
or greater than B12, then I want the answer to be displayed as whatever is inside A16. In this case, the answer should be as no. So all I have to do is click on A16. Finally, once you've done that, this is the end of this if function. All you have to do is close the brackets like so, hit, um, hit enter, and remember we identified that the, we are over budget, so we should get the answer to be displayed as yes. Let's see by pressing enter. There we are. So we are over budget as we have identified. It's a simple um, experiment here, simple ex example I am using here for you so you understand things thoroughly. So if let's say for argument's sake that the budget was a little bit higher, let's change this one to 15,000. And if I press enter, do you think we are over budget? Do you think this answer from yes will change to the contents of cell A16, which is no? You think it will? Well, so do I. And let's see if it happens. There we are. The answer has changed to no. So that works. You can see in the formula bar, anytime you want to have a look at what you have typed in remember in the formula bar it always displays what you have typed in in the cell itself it will display the answer to your function or formula that you have put in so now this is how you do it manually now i'm going to use the function key to show you how you can allow excel to do most of this function for you now again a quick reminder that in lesson 9 I have introduced the function key to you. So if I click on the formula bar this is the insert function key. So lesson 9 explains everything about this function key and I have demonstrated quite a few different functions for your understanding. But for this lesson I'm going to use this function key now to work out whether we are over budget or not. So I go ahead and click on the function button up there. Remember it's under the formulas tab and just here on the left hand side. And then it's asking us, okay, which function do you want to use? If it's not on the list, you can press a couple of words in here and Excel will give it to you on this list here. And mine is on the list. So all I need to do is either double click on it or click and click OK and then it opens up this dialog box or this window uh, with the heading function arguments. Now keep an eye on the formula bar because Excel will build and put in everything for you. You just have to do a few minimal inputs in these three boxes here and Excel will do the rest for you. So the first box is your logical test which is basically whether B11 is greater than B12. So all I'm going to do is click in B11, put in greater than and then B12. And then if that is true, I need the answer to be displayed as the contents of cell A15. So all I do is click on A15. If it's false, I need the contents of cell A16 to be displayed, which is going to be showing as no. So all I need to do is click on there. And then finally, if I click OK, Excel will do. If you look at the formula bar here, this is what it has done for you. It's done everything for you, except this is what you typed in. You don't need to put any of these little commas. You don't need to put open brackets, close brackets, or even type in the word if. All you have to do is minimal input and Excel does the rest for you. If I click on OK, there we are. The answer is no because remember we changed this value from 12,500. So I'm just going to change this value back to 12,500 and the answer should be displayed as yes, you said it. It is yes. So let's press enter. There we are. It changes. So remember this question, it was a very specific question trying to work out the budget because we do a lot of budgeting in our lives, many aspects of our life, personal budgeting in the workplace. We need to work out budgets, etc. So it's a beautiful if function that you can use to work out the budget. So the expense is greater than the budget, hence we are over budget. And remember, you know, let's say the expense is, uh, is 900, for example. Um, 
or 9,000, if I press enter, I, should I be over budget or should I not be over budget? I shouldn't be over budget because the expense is less than the budget. So the if function will automatically change as your budget changes or your expense changes. Once you've done the if function, you do not need to worry about this. This will constantly tell you whether you are over budget or not. I'm just going to change this back to the original um, expense because this is actually a sum function working out all these expenses up here for these invoices. Now, before I finish, I just want to show you another quick way of doing this if function. Let's say I didn't have these, this information on my worksheet, the word yes and no. I haven't got them there, but I still want the answers to be displayed as yes or no. Now, the quick way of doing this is actually very similar to the way we have done, except, so I'm just going to go in the formula bar. I'm just going to delete all them. So B11 is bigger than B12. If the words do not exist on the worksheet, we call them like as a foreign information that you need to have as the answers as a result of the if function. So what we have to do is put these words in quotations. So for example, after the comma, you need to do open brackets. Please keep an eye on the formula bar and then type in the word yes. Let me just put it in the correct uh, case. Put in the word yes. You need to close your quotation and then put a comma in there, open the quotation again, and then put the word no. And finally, close the quotation and finishing it off by a closing bracket. Now, it's exactly the same way, except you're typing in manually the word yes and manually the word no, because these words do not exist in this worksheet this is why you need to put them in quotation now again i have explained this in detail in lesson eight so please do refer to that because there will be a situation where you do not have these two possible options on the worksheet and your manager at the workplace or if you're doing it for your own education you may have different words to be displayed as the result of your if function testing so if i press enter now I still get the same answer. Can you see yes? And similarly, if my budget was uh, bigger than my expense, for example, if I change this to 15,000, again, I should get the answer to be as no, just like before, I'm going to press enter, and there we are. So it's exactly the same thing, but just trying to show you here that if these words don't exist on the worksheet, remember to use the quotation, the speech marks, if you like, because if you don't, you will get an error. It's not going to work. So that's the um, end of today's lesson. I hope it's been thorough enough for you to understand the if function. So lastly, uh, please don't forget to like and share this lesson and subscribe to our channel if you have not done so. And I shall see you over in the next lesson. Until then, please do take care of yourself. Goodbye.